Welcome back to Refit or Die. Today's episode is not about projects or the earth or becoming a better lover for Mother Nature. It is about something though that is equally important and it's how are we going to have careers and pay income and thrive going forward into the future because obviously you need some kind of income to survive in the world. So, um, and in case you've lived under a rock, let me bring you up to speed on two words, globalization and automization. And those two things have created such, such a shift in industry that I think it's not too bold to say that the industrial age is coming to an end and we are moving into a new one. This new one will mean we have to reframe the way that we're thinking. And I found this really, really simple, brilliant idea that is so simple. You don't even need to take notes, just listen. It came from a book called Choose Yourself by author James Altucker. And it's simply called 10 ideas. Here it is, simple. Piece of paper every day. I would suggest in the morning or whatever your freshest, sharpest part of your day is. Morning with a cup of coffee is the time for me. Idea one, idea two, idea three, idea four, idea five, all the way through 10. Now, what are these ideas? Whatever, whatever, industry, industry, problem solving, uh, correcting things, you know, um, maybe your mother's in a nursing home and you were there and you watch regular problems happening that you're like, you know what, my first problem, my mother's nursing home, they need to distribute the mail and newspapers better. And this is my idea. Maybe you have a dog who's old and has some throat thing, and so you can't get a dog collar to work right on your dog. So you design a dog collar for dogs with this throat condition, because there's apparently a lot of them. Maybe another idea is that there's a community next door to yours, but too far to be really close, that makes the most amazing organic breads and croissants and little treats for the morning, oh my God, to die for, and great coffee. and. Your community doesn't have that. So maybe idea three, I'm gonna create a distribution thing. I'm gonna, you know, increase production at the fantastic organic bread company in the next door community and distribute it to, I'm gonna find a place here in our community that will carry their product and sell it there so that we have it here in our community as well and I help them expand. Great idea. You do this until you get to 10 and then you crumple it up and throw it away. Now. <gasps> I know what you're thinking. Oh, my ideas are so precious. I can't crumple them up and throw them away. Oh my God, they're my ideas. I know, I think the same thing. But by experience, I can tell you, eight to nine of those ideas, especially when you're starting this, are pure shit. And I mean the shit that you have to leave the house afterwards. This crumpling it up and throwing it away is the way that you actually clear out clear out all the bad stuff. Because from my own experience, I can promise you another thing. The really good ideas, they come back the next day. And the next day. The really good ideas come back to you later in the afternoon when you see something or you read something or someone says something on the news and you say, oh my God, that's exactly what I was thinking. The good ideas will return. The bad ideas, crumple, 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 end up in the basket and you don't get all caught up with all the bad ideas. Refit or die, kids.